Okay, so we're rolling. Here we have a happy patient, but you had a little more unusual situation than what I considered the run-of-the-mill floaters. What you had was actually a posterior vitreous detachment with a very thickened surface of the vitreous. But you were seen by doctors up in what Tarpon Springs and Tampa. Yes. And what did they what did they tell you? Yes, they said there really was not anything that could be done, especially for the right eye, because I had extreme loss of vision, looking through the tissue or the membrane, because it was totally blurry. So. Uh, and you had previous cataract surgery. I had and, previous and, cataract surgery. And, and, and successful implants. And that was done by Dr. Gills, that did you say? done by Dr. Gill at St. Louis. Yeah, Dr. Gills, he's a well-known doctor up in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Yes. But when you came to me, and, and I forgot, how did you find me? I found you by the internet. Uh, one of my doctors has said, well, he believed there was someone in Fort Myers. Right. And so... Uh, <laughs> I did an internet search and immediately your name came up. I did some more research over the next couple months and uh, that's when we decided to come down and see you. And our first treatment was like night and Well, let's day. describe what you had. You had what we would call a thickened hyaloid membrane. It wasn't a run-of-the-mill floater. And your visual acuity when you came in in that eye and you came in, you didn't have distance correction because you previously didn't need it. Your visual acuity was 2040, and that was diminished even to 2060 level uh, yes. with movement of the membrane. Yes. What we did was dissect the membrane down, down the dead center, and when you left here, it started to clear up, and you came back, and I believe the next uh, visit was 2025, something like that? It was. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. And my, my sight had just been affected in such a positive way. And I was excited about that. But each time I've come back, you chipped away at it a little more. And uh, yeah, so exactly. today, um, I was 20, 20 for the first time. I'm 75 years <laughs> young. And I am still going to be able to ride my motorcycle. That's, that's great. And I, I consider this, you know, one of my more amazing cases. And it's funny because I was saying we've had a, a burst of four similar cases come in. Wow. And doctors often write off the patient, so it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. You did have a little bit of a retinal change, which maybe confused them. And they thought that was the cause of the decreased vision. But it was actually this, we can call it a floater, but it was more of a membranous vitreous opacity and you also had similar in the left eye and the left eye also was 2040 although it wasn't as thick and we uh, pretty well pulverized that cut it down the center and your visual acuity is almost 2020 in that eye in natural seeing my vision in the left eye is cleared up entirely yeah this uh, I, I i always find this Amazing that I can do this, actually. Yes. I, yes. I enjoy doing it. And, and the right uh, eye has improved uh, just dramatically. 